There is an underused storytelling device which, by design, will make your wrestling character more memorable and more robust. Today, let's get really specific about the precise function of a vignette. I'm Mike Quackenbush, and this is Till We Make It. Here on my channel, I make videos for fellow professional wrestlers at every stage of their career. And throughout my career, I've been very fortunate. I've worked in front of the cameras as a professional wrestler, referee, ring announcer, and commentator. And I have worked behind the scenes too, as a promoter, booker, agent, coach, and consultant. And today, on Till We Make It, I want to get really specific about the function of a true vignette. A vignette as a storytelling device will yield a piece of content which does not advance the plot. It doesn't move the narrative. Instead, it develops character by revealing a character's attitude or mood or a key characteristic or element of that character which makes them unique. Generally speaking, a true vignette does not stand on its own. Rather, it serves a larger purpose. Because it does not move the plot and does not contain a complete story in and of itself, it works to enhance the larger story. So for example, a pro wrestling vignette which reveals a key character trait might serve the larger purpose of preparing a new wrestler to debut with a company. Or a vignette which reveals an attitude from a certain character might be presented to predispose the audience to react a certain way when that character makes their entrance. So in those examples, the vignettes are created as part of a larger whole to help develop the character in front of the audience. If you are creating a vignette to develop the character of your pro wrestling persona, remember, a true vignette does not tell a complete story. And here's where we need to get really specific about this. A complete story has, we're talking broad terms right now, a beginning, a middle, and an end. And these map very neatly over the three-act structure outlined by Aristotle in Poetics. Act one is the beginning, act two is the middle, act three is the ending. Again, we're talking in very broad terms here. Remember, your vignette is in no way, shape, or form constrained by that structure. So upon hearing that, if you think, if I'm free from that structure, does that mean I could create a vignette that is effectively just a middle? No beginning and no end? Yes, exactly. As long as it serves the purpose of developing character by revealing a character trait or detail, or revealing an emotional state or mood, it is serving the function of the vignette within the larger narrative. And this can be done for a singles wrestler, it can be done for a tag team, it can be done for a stable of wrestlers, as long as it does character development, it is doing exactly what a vignette is designed to do. And luckily enough, my very favorite vignette in all of professional wrestling is on YouTube. And I'll find a way to link you to it somewhere. The vignette offers an interesting alternative to the promo, which in its purest form, a promo is a monologue. Separate from an interview, a promo by itself could be just a monologue. Now, can a promo reveal an attitude or mood or reveal key character traits? Yes, of course, it can. But a promo can also function as a marketing message or a plot device, things which a vignette cannot. So it's important to distinguish what makes a vignette and a promo different. If your pro wrestling persona requires further character development to get across a new perspective, a character quirk, or change in attitude, remember, this is precisely what the vignette is designed to do. A promo can do this as well, but a promo can serve other functions. And so to avoid over-reliance on cutting promos, on monologizing, consider using a vignette first for character-driven content. Or just remember this handy axiom. When moving the plot in a pro wrestling story forward, rely on action first. When developing the characters in that story, rely on vignettes first. And only when both of those fail the end objective, then cut a promo.
One last word on vignettes as a powerful storytelling device that both wrestlers and the people who create wrestling can call upon. Remember that a vignette does not tell a complete story. However, a series of vignettes can create a complete portrait of a character. So, if there are key elements, traits, or attitudes of a character that aren't connecting with the audience, look to vignettes to do that piece of character development and show it to the audience. Because showing it to them is always more memorable than telling them. In a promo or monologue, you can tell them. But in a vignette, you have the ability to show them. And that's always going to make for more powerful storytelling and ultimately will result in pro wrestling characters which are more robust and more memorable. For more on bold characters and how to use a foil when developing a pro wrestling persona, click on the video that's appearing right now so that you can keep on learning. And down below, I'm gonna link you to a great vignette where Razor Ramon eats a plum because, come on. <laughs> Just look at what he's wearing in this one.